Hello everyone, <laughs> my name's Bottletop Hornet, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Now, I know it's been a little while since the last episode, and I've actually had a little bit of builder's block. Uh, with the upcoming release of 1.18, and knowing that this world is coming to a close, I've been fiddling away on like trying to add details, as you can see behind me on this dockland, because there's so many things that I feel like I'm leaving unfinished. So something I want to say before we get started with this episode, since, uh, since we have new things coming on the horizon, is even though I will be starting a new series, I will continue to build on this world. In my own time, when I feel like it, maybe even on streams and such. And uh, we might do like island update videos every now and again when I have some more progress until I feel like, I guess until I feel like it's done. Until I feel like I've actually achieved what I wanted to and and got all the details things like that uh that farmhouse which i don't even know if i'm gonna have time to do so i don't want to say this is the last episode uh of this series before <laughs> before we start on 1.18 we'll probably get another one in at least but i do want to let you guys know that they will start to run in tandem a little bit the new series will take precedence it will be the one that we focus on most but we will still do like say a Every couple of weeks, or even once a month, we'll do an update to uh, to the island, and I'll show you guys what I've done. So, without out of the way, I think I should sleep, and then I can show you off a little bit of the details that I've done on that dockland there, and we can get started with this episode. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was just about to say, let's go have a look at it, but oh, someone doesn't want us to. Okay, now... I don't ask this very often, but I am going to start asking a little more often because I probably should. If you do enjoy this episode, I would really appreciate it if you left a like. And yeah, left a comment. Tell me what you like about it as we go. It's just going to help me continue to grow and uh, give me an idea of what you guys enjoy. So, I actually came out here just in my off time while I was <laughs> really struggling to, to come up with ideas of how I wanted to go. It wasn't necessarily that I didn't know what I wanted to build. It was a matter of what do I focus on before 1.18 comes out. I wasn't expecting it to release at the end of November. I was expecting more mid to late December. So it kind of caught me by surprise. But I figured that we'd come in here today and work on this jail. I think I'd like to connect this little bit down here, this little cave that I made, and the dockland so that we don't have this open section because I did do this so that that feels like it's naturally there and I want to do the same thing on here so that some of it feels a little bit more finished <laughs> we could even have our staircase going down there so I just added some things around that would look like I guess it'd look like people were working here storing things needing uh needing water to wash off equipment once they come back from say fishing uh, I don't know, random stuff. It doesn't really make sense, a lot of it, but I feel like it does add to it. Plus, tried my best to, uh, hmm, <laughs> to try and vary up the dock a little bit so that it looks nicer from a distance. There we go. So you get an idea that it's a little bit more rough, roughed up, and uh, also, I guess I kind of thought of these lighter patches like sea bleached, so people walking around with a lot of water on their boots or dripping equipment. The main thoroughfares are a little bit more bleached by the salt water. And then there is stuff spread around the outside, but less so. This is sort of more where the main people walk through and it dries off as they go to do actual work. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And I think it gives us a good place to start. Oh, I should also point out, uh, I added some stuff to the ship as well just a few little things to make a difference like that railing there a uh, couple of barrels around and even a place that we could make it look like we're maybe driving the ship sailing the ship you know what i mean <laughs> so with that i'm going to grab a bunch of materials like a bunch of materials i want to get myself a nice little station set up probably just at the base of here with stones and andesite and all of that stuff and then we're going to try and pop in and do this pretty much in one go i want to take you guys through the process rather than time lapsing it and i want to feel my way through the detailing with you guys in tow so 
I'll grab those materials and we'll get started. Okay, so I gathered myself a bunch of stone, andesite, the cracked stone bricks and whatnot, and even a bit of tuff and cobblestone. And I grabbed some deep slate as well. I think what I want to do is make the floor deep slate so it's like it's dark and dingy. And we're going to try and uh, make it feel a little bit rough, a little bit like a, a dark space that is hidden away from the beauty of the islands to really fit that, uh, <laughs> that prison feel. So I think what I'm going to do is start off by marking out the position of the cell. So I've got these doorways here. And if I just use some of the deep slate and get this set up here just so that I have a reference point for when I remove everything I suppose you'd say this is obviously our way down and I think I'll make like a office here so have like a little bench and some bookshelves and whatnot where a warden might uh, might stay to look over this area and then we'll just pop all of this in here so that I can open it up again and still use these as my reference points beautiful all right, now I'm going to go back, say, five from the door line. So standing in this block, we go five. We might do the same on this end. We'll join them all up. I'll open this whole area up because I might want to put bars in between the cells so that it's all sort of see-through. Oops, I don't want to delete that stuff, though. I can stay there for now. So that it's all visible through the whole thing like a, a jail that you would find in the strongholds so the strongholds do have those jail cells that are kind of barred off but they they're all combined a little bit and that's a little bit like my inspiration for this but at the same time i want to make it a little bit more detailed and make it my own so let's just open that up one more on that side as well and we'll do the same over here Right. Now, I think my best bet in this uh, is to get myself as clean of a surface as I can. Try and uh, <laughs> remove all of the, the different blocks and just replace everything with stone so I have a nice flat canvas to work off. So I'm going to take out all of these, these uh, dirt blocks, all of the granite and the diorite and everything like that. And we're going to bring this back to a nice flat, plain uh, setup. We might go up a little bit higher and then we can start working on the details and setting out the structure itself. Something a little bit like that. So now we've got some cleaned up areas. These are our two sides where we're going to put the jail cells. If I should light this up just so I don't have anything appear <laughs> out of nowhere. Then I've opened this up here. Ooh, turtle. Open this up here. This will be a little office. So we might make a desk and a reading corner. And then this will obviously eventually go down to our map room. Now that we have that, I think what I want to do is actually remove these and replace them with walls. So there we go. <laughs> There's actually a couple of things that need to be changed there. We'll do the same on this side. Excuse me. <laughs> and uh, just patch that up a little bit. Okay, so if I grab, say, these walls, and I also grab some of the iron bars, I want to have it so that give ourselves options for the most amount of detail that I can add. So I want so many different faces to be available to me here. So if I put something like this up around the outside, you sort of get an idea that if we... Oh, <laughs> if we grab one of these doors and put it just... Oh, you're trapped now. Ooh, does that not work? It might not. Okay. So maybe we want to do the opposite. Maybe we want to make where the doorways go solid and then the in-betweens become bars. Yeah. All right. Let me try that. Yeah. Something a little bit like that. So now I have the doorways into each of the cells, which are openable from the outside, but not the inside, so that they can be opened if, uh, if need be, and then closed again. And you would have like, uh, for example, you'd have two people on duty so that if they happen to get locked in there, the other one could come over and fix that. We have these little gaps at the bottom where you would say slide food through. 
So, eh, wait. Eh. <laughs> and just push it through there. Although I don't think they'd be getting golden carrots. They might get suspicious stew instead. But we have ourselves a bit of a wall. And if we come in here, we've got the separation between the different, uh, different cells. So I haven't got the doors yet for this side. But I think that works. And now what I want to do is bring up the structure a little bit higher and work out how I want to have the roof line going across. So the roof line is going to come from this side all the way to the other side here and spin over the top. And then we can connect these walls up to that in a bit of an interesting way. So I think what I want to do, if I can just get up here, is bring this up two more and we'll do the same thing over on the other side. We might do it here just for starters. Uh, can I? Yeah, I'm a genius. So we have that there. And on this back side, we will come up the two blocks as well. Just need a couple more. Uh, we'll make some. There we go. So something like that. And now what I would like to do is use stairs, I think. But we might make it out of... Hmm, might do it out of dark oak. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's grab some of that. In fact, I don't really have a lot of it here, so we might head out to where I have uh, a little bit of a supply that you guys probably haven't seen, unless you're on a live stream. So, we'll actually go for a little fly. There are some things in this series that probably have never been shown, or maybe they have, I'm not sure, but I have little spaces spread around the world where I do different bits and pieces so I have like my resource gathering places but one of them is the tree farm or it's not exactly a farm it's just somewhere where I manually go to grow all my trees and if I just fly out this direction over here I have a beacon set up and you can see that I've grown a bunch of spruce trees and things like that and if we come over here we actually have what's your name I can't remember Chicklin. <laughs> of course. Of course. And I have a bunch of... Yeah. Dark oak. And jungle. And that's possibly it. Yeah. <laughs> but I can grab a few of those. And we'll bring them back. And bone blocks for growing it. Cool. I think that should be enough. Now all we have to do is make our way back. And we actually get to see a really, really nice view of the islands. Look at this. I love the scale of these things as they come into view. It's really, it's kind of ridiculous. So we'll pop up over here and down into our docklands again. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to decide whether or not I want to do full beams like, uh, like this, for example. Oh, that's not too bad. And the other option is coming across and doing stuff like, oh, can I place it? This, and then having, surely I've got something. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so having it set up where we create beams along the ceiling using the stairs. And I don't know if I have any more, I kind of do. So like this. Now, this is actually something that I was inspired to do from Libby on my SMP. And uh, they are a fantastic builder. And this, this look of just having the beams coming across like that is great. So you would then go another one, two, and grab yourself a few more like this. So you sort of get that uh, those beams going through the ceiling. We could maybe combine that with with a bit of this main log on the ends. That could work. Let me fiddle with that and I'll see what I can come up with as far as a roof design. We'll have to get up on top and make sure it's spawn proof as well, but that shouldn't be too difficult. So yeah, I think that's, uh, that's pretty decent. I ended up going with a bit of a grid made out of the dark oak logs and then changing the direction that I was gonna have those beams. And so, <laughs> As someone who is a builder, this is almost like uh, joists hanging off your, your main beams. And in real life, you would have a bit of a hanger under there that attaches it. But using the main beams as your structural part, and then you have some joists coming across to rest your, your ceiling or your roof onto. So 
a little bit of exposed joist with the beams going across this way. And I think we'll, uh, we'll continue that sort of style over the top of all of this, keeping that nice and dark. But I, I like the idea of, as I said, this being all dark and dingy. So what we're going to quickly do to just test it out is uh, replace the entire floor with that deep slate. What's that? Oh, it's a piece of experience. I thought it was a zombie or something. So we do this, chop out all of that, make sure that we have plenty on us. I don't know whether it's directional. No, not on the top, so that's okay. Oh, wait. Ah, because I put that on sideways. So we could use that for uh, adding detail if I went sideways like that and uh, had a couple of them occasionally being sideways, like this, for example. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. We'll, uh, we'll try and vary it up a little bit as we go. Yeah, <laughs> we uh, don't quite have enough, but that's okay. I Ooh, yeah. Okay, I like this. Now, we might need to go grab a little bit more, but something else that I grabbed was a few deep slate coal, because I like the idea of using this to sort of make it feel dirtier in here. So I need to clear out a little bit of stuff, like so. But if we... We say spread it around through the floor a little bit. Yeah, just to make it feel a little bit darker. Now, I will add stuff like uh, the mossy variety, say like this. And then we're going to do the back walls with more tough and cobblestone and stuff. So that we get the layers of texture going through. I do like that. But I think with this, a little bit of variation using the coal is really going to help uh, make it feel grimy and dirty almost. And it's also going to give us a couple of pieces of this back to do stuff like this. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Especially from a distance, it uh, it definitely blends down into into the uh, the color, the main sort of color. It's only when you're closer that you can see it properly. But back here, it just darkens the uh, the ground a little bit, so it's lighter in that section. But especially when you pull back. Don't know how it's going to look with the quality on YouTube, but for me, in on my 4K screen, it uh, it definitely just gives that really nice color change rather than texture change. Texture change. <laughs> Perhaps I should light that end up. Oh lord, <laughs> that startled me. Yep, definitely going to light this up. But now what I'm going to do is try and uh, finish up the walls up to those beams, try and make them look a little bit nicer. And uh, we might even open this up too. So I, I made this area go back so that we might put some storage or something across the, the side of this staircase here. So this is in line a little bit with here. Obviously, we're going to go like uh, this and like this. But with this in line, one side is the the sort of warden's office. The other side can be a little bit of storage. And then we can put a railing just beside the uh, the staircase that goes down to the map room. So if I bring this across, and much like with the other areas, we sort of make it into a bit of a flatter stone wall, just so that I have something basic to build off of. Like so. I need more stone. And there we go. So yeah, that's more of our little uh, storage area. We'll put some barrels and some shelving up on the walls. Yeah, cool. I'm liking it. <laughs> we'll just light it up for now. And let me see what I can do as far as uh, filling it in, bringing the walls down. And I might even add the, uh, <laughs> the cobblestone and the tuff and whatnot that I have here. Plus a little bit of andesite and maybe some stone we'll see we'll see what i can come up with it looks good in fact i should probably use the moss that i have here and make some mossy cobblestone so mossy cobble the tough and normal cobblestone will definitely make the the walls of the cells feel a little bit rougher so i'll be right back once i've got those things finished up and after a little bit of time After a little bit of time, uh, I have finished up the build. So if we come down here, this is now our prison area. 
So I have the warden's office, a little spot where they can sit and read and, and take the time while also being close enough to hear things and accept new people coming in. We also have, since the... Uh, Oh, wow. We've got two zombie villages. Since those places are dark, they keep spawning in new mobs and whatnot as we go around. So, yeah, that's scary, but not really dangerous. They can't actually get out. I don't think they'll explode. Ooh, that was a risk, but we should be mostly safe, except from the, uh, <laughs> the skeleton shooting through there. Another really fun little detail, which I can't claim as my own. This was Beth's idea. Some of you will know Beth from the community. Putting a little bit of water above the uh, ceiling and just kind of containing it. Every now and again, we get... Should happen any second now. Hello? <laughs> any second now. We should get some little drips of water. Maybe if I go this side. Uh... It was happening far more regularly before, I swear. <laughs> but we do have like a slightly damp atmosphere. I could add some more water on top just to make it so that it uh, it happens slightly more frequently. But all in all, this is all tied together. It brings it back over into this cave system here and ties the whole area together. And something that I will... Ooh, there we go. Do you see that? <laughs> Good. <laughs> I hope so. One thing that I would like to do is... When 1.18 comes out, and this world will get converted, even though we're going to be focusing on another Let's Play, I still will be building this area, uh, doing bits and pieces off camera. And I would like to try and get it so that we have just above light level 1, uh, or light level 0, so that nothing can spawn in there, but we get a far more atmospheric look. So, for now, we're going to have these sitting up here, lighting up the whole hallway. But down the line, in a couple of weeks when uh, the new update comes out, we're not going to have to worry about that as much. And we can probably use some like glow lichen or something attached to the walls and bits and pieces to make it look nice and ambient, I suppose. Now, I need some food. Wonderful. There we go. And oh, see, now you work <laughs> when I'm not paying attention. And again... Why did you take so long before? So I tried to avoid going too curved and trying to go with my general style, which I have for like hallways and such, because while that is a, a homely area, I wanted this one down here to feel more structured, more bland. It's very square, walls, square, ceilings, everything rigid and structured so that it's not a welcoming place so much as a a place to be held so that's why all of these hallways are very very rectangular while still trying to add a little bit of detail obviously i could go through and break up the floor a little bit by i don't have any on me but i could get some cobbled deep slate and just put some stairs in there try and get a little bit more variation in the floor but for now i think it's pretty cool i think it looks pretty good and I'm not going to worry about it too much until maybe we come back uh, or I come back while I am just playing by myself. And I'll, I'll lessen the light level once we hit 1.18 and see what I can do as far as making the floor look a little bit more in disrepair, I suppose. But I got all the flooring through there. Didn't do the back walls yet because I, uh, I'm running out of time a little bit and I do want to get this episode out to you guys. So I am going to leave it there for today. I'm going to uh, <laughs> try and get this episode out because it has been a long break in between. I apologize for that. I've just been a little bit, hmm, a little bit overwhelmed by some of the uh, upcoming stuff that I'm trying to organize. So we should hopefully be back to normal episodes soon and we will be starting the new Let's Play very, very, very soon. I'm excited for that. I hope you guys are too. But I do want to confirm that yes, I will continue to work on this world and I won't just leave it in its uh, in its unfinished state. So there will be some work done to finish the, the housing area here, like the uh, farmhouse, and finish that little part over there as well. We might not do the dock lands that I was talking about, but I will do my best to make sure that things feel complete enough. So with that... 
I'm going to thank my Patreon supporters, especially my level three supporters, Ness and Carl. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you helping me continue to run the community server that we have going, which will also be upgrading to 1.18 soon and starting fresh. We're all going to have a little bit more space to build. We're going to try and see what we can do. And this season will go for a lot longer on the SMP. So once again, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're looking forward to more videos in the future. And with all that being said, I hope you take care of yourself until the next episode or until I see you again. And bye bye. <laughs> all right. Phew. This place is almost done. Unbelievable. Ah. Whoop.